We would be honored if you would join us. Everyone's invited, of course. Hey, Star Wars fans and collectors, thanks for tuning into another video. Got another awesome Phantom Menace piece here today. It is Sir Bulba's Pod Racer, just in case the title of the video didn't give it away for you. Um, <laughs> just received this today, is in beautiful minty condition. Looks really great. I got this for a pretty damn good price on eBay. So, um, yeah, I've been hunting for it for a little while since I got uh, Anakin's Pod Racer, which I did sort of do a review of a few weeks back. Um, so I'm really excited. Tape's unbroken on this bad boy, so it looks fantastic. Sebulba's Pod Racer is just so cool. I love the sound. Um, that's one of my favorite sounds from Star Wars is Sebulba's Pod Racer. So we're going to crack this thing open and take a look in just a moment. Um, but yeah, I've been getting a real kick out of going back and finding some of this old stuff from 22 years ago when I was just a mere 11 year old boy, <laughs> much like Anakin was in episode one. I think he's nine or 10. So same thing. Um, yeah, let's, let's crack straight into it and have a look at what's inside. All right. So I've got my trusty little exacto knife here and we're going to cut this tape as hard as this is to do. Cause I just, I love the state of the box. It's really good condition considering its age. Oh, broken the seal officially broken the seal. Let's crack into this thing. All right. So there's a packet of stickers. So my Anakin one came pre-stuck, so I'm going to have to do these myself, but that's alright, I will do them off camera once I've got this thing out of the box. So I'll just put them aside for the moment, we'll pull this bad boy out. Here we go. Alright, now cue the music for... Cable tie undoing. All right, so here we have all the parts and pieces, as well as our Sebulba himself out of the box looking pretty cool and I am going to look at the instructions to assemble this thing it shouldn't be too difficult but um you know just in case so a couple of engines mounting to the backs so, so we've got these two parts I doubt the sides really matter too much with this one. They look like they're the same. There we go, they click in nicely. Same there. It's nice and tight. So now we have the spinning wheel feature which clicks in the side there. Alright, so... A little bit of electricity, electricity is sort of the binder sits in the middle there. And now we have his super duper awesome looking engines. Get the right way up. Again, I doubt there's any wrong way. They both look the same on either side, so they should just slot in there quite nicely. Go, there's one, there's number two, and then you have the pod itself pops into the top, and there we have it. Sebulba's pod racer. And of course, you can't have the pod racer without the engine master, driver, pilot, <laughs> pod racer himself in there. So 
a little bit of a bit of an awkward fit, but there we go. Might be able to tinker with that and get him in there a little bit better. But that looks alright to me. So yeah, immediately I'm just looking at all the finer details on this thing. There's a slight sort of weathering sort of finish to the orange. Like it's just been covered in dust or something. Looks like it needs to clip back on there. So get that piece. Just clip it onto the uh, struts. And I kind of wish it was a little bit sort of sort of just automatically tips back. So I sort of wish it sort of just um, held its own weight. But that's okay, I will work something out here. So again, there's the uh, little feature on the front where you pull the... That's probably supposed to... It's not bad, it's alright. I'll probably be keeping them closed though, but... um. The engines are freaking awesome. Yeah, this is cool. This is really cool. You have to find a nice stand for it. Maybe even have to pull this one apart too and put some counterweights in the front just to uh, just to hold that forward. Um, find something nice and heavy to put inside the actual engines just to just so it does sort of stand up on its own like that but otherwise I'm really really happy with this thing so uh, let's get a quick shot of Sebulba and Anakin's pod racer side by side All right, here we have the two pods. I've uh, just used these two sort of book, book holders for the moment just as stands, and I might actually just keep them on there because they're actually sitting quite well. And uh, yeah, that works all right. So I might just leave them on them for, for the moment until I, uh, until I can come up with something else. But um, yeah, loving the look of these two together. They look absolutely awesome. So cool. I'm so happy to finally have these two pod races in my collection. They look great. Can't wait to get them on display together. So that, uh, yeah, this is this is something I've wanted since I was a, uh, like I said, it was like a 10 or 11 year old kid. But I uh, never, never made it happen until the last few months. <laughs> But uh, I did do a video where I did sort of customise Anakin's a little bit, just so it was a little bit more screen accurate. I did leave the sort of handles in the middle. It uh, would have been nice to get rid of them, but um, that's right. They sort of hold it together, and uh, they're, they're fine. It's not a big deal. I've got to remember that they are toys. But yeah, I'd love to hear what your thoughts, thoughts are on these in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do and hit the notification bell and all my videos will come to you very, very quickly and uh, you'll be notified as soon as they drop. So thank you very much for watching. Till my next video, may the force be with you, always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.